Today we're going to continue with activity 2.3, playing with lists. And we're going to learn how to access our list through the use of the word phrase button as well as our accelerometer. Now that you've set up your list, you can create the code to access items from the list randomly and display them in the item label when the user touches the word phrase button. To open your App Inventor Designer window, you're going to need to open a new tab or window in your browser and go to appinventor.mit.edu. From here, you'll log in using your Google student email address, you'll click on Create Apps, and then you'll click on your project titled Charades. In order to access your list through the word phrase button, we're going to need to drag out the word phrase button click event handler. We will then need to go ahead and set our item label text block from the item label drawer and drag it into that event handler. From there, we're going to need to go ahead and pick a random item list block from the list drawer and drag that into the set item label text block. Last, we'll need to go ahead and drag the get global word phrase list block from our variables drawer and add it to the blocks of code. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can achieve this through our MIT App Inventor. Once you're in your MIT App Inventor, it's time to go ahead and program the word phrase list button. In order to do this, we're going to need to go ahead and find that word phrase button from our block view, and we're going to find the event handler that states when the word phrase button is clicked. The next thing we need to do is set that item label's text. So we're going to find that item label, and we're going to need to scroll down and set the item label's text. Now we want to be able to pick a random word or phrase when that button is clicked. So we're going to need to go back into our list drawer. And from our list drawer, we're going to go ahead and find the pick a random item list block. Last but not least, we need to access that variable that we created earlier that has all of our phrases. In order to do that, we're just going to go to the variable drawers and get one of those get blocks. And we're going to select the variable global word phrase list. Once you have completed that portion of your code, go ahead and open up your app companion or tablet and give it a try. Once you're in your MIT app companion or tablet, it's time to test out the click here for word phrase list button. We recently wrote the code for this button that whenever it is clicked on, we should see a word or phrase to act out appear on our screen. So if we click on that click here for word phrase, you can see that we now have the phrase walking a dog. If we click on it again, we get a different phrase opening a gift. Remember that these are random and they are selecting a random item from the index within that list. Again, we clicked on that click here for word phrase list and we got a duplicate of opening a gift. Later on, we'll look at how we can go through this list in a sequential order rather than just picking a random item. Before you continue, you're going to want to collapse all of the blocks in your program except for the word phrase button click as well as the skip button click event handlers. This will help keep your program clean and readable so that you can focus on the event handlers you still need to work on. Let's review the game description event handler chart that we filled out earlier during our previous activity. Here you will notice that we still need to focus on advancing to a new word or phrase by shaking our tablet. When the tablet is shaken, we also need that word or phrase to advance to a new word or phrase. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can shake things up. To complete the remaining functionality, the app needs to be able to identify whenever the device is shaken. App Inventor has built-in component that reads from the accelerometer sensor on the device, which basically detects movements such as tilting and shaking. The component is non-visible because it does not appear on the view layer. It is only used to detect shaking of the device. We are going to need to go to our designer and add an accelerometer component from the sensors drawer. The only property that we need to change is the intervals. We'll set that value to 2000 milliseconds or 2 seconds. We'll then need to go ahead and program the accelerometer event handler to increment the score and display the new score in the score label component whenever a user shakes the device. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can program that accelerometer component. Remember to test this behavior on your device to see whether the score changes when you do shake that device. If it doesn't work, 
Use a variable tracing chart to figure out what went wrong and fix any errors. Once we are back in our MIT App Inventor, the first thing we need to do is add the accelerometer component and change its properties. We can do this by going to our sensors drawer and dragging the accelerometer sensor. You'll see down at the bottom that it is a non-visible component, but we still can change those properties. We're going to change the minimum interval from 400 to 2000. Now, once we have that accelerometer placed onto our user interface, we can go ahead and take a look at our block view. Now, there's a couple things that we need to do in order to program this. The first thing that we need it to do is advance to a new word or phrase. So we're going to go ahead and find our accelerometer and we're going to bring in that when accelerometer is shaking. Now, in order to bring in that new word or phrase, we've already created that set item text to pick a random item or list and get our global variable. So this goes back to our redundant code. We've already created this and we're going to be repeating this throughout the program. So we're going to go ahead and create a new procedure here. In order to create that new procedure, we're going to bring in our two procedure block and we're going to go ahead and call this pick next word. Once we create that procedure, we can go ahead and pull the code out of that word phrase button and drop it into our procedure. Now make sure that we go back and call that procedure again in that word phrase button click. We can go ahead and bring another one in and now place that into our accelerometer when shaking. So now when we shake our device, we should see a new word or phrase. We still need to be able to do a couple different things with this. We still need to reset the time and we've already created that procedure. So if we go back to that procedure drawer, we can call that reset timer and now our accelerometer will reset the timer as well. Don't forget that we also need to set that clock one timer to true. So we need the clock to start counting down. So if we go ahead and find that clock that we've added, we're going to go ahead and find that set clock one timer enabled. And we're going to go ahead and set that to true. And we can find that true block under our logic drawer. Now, the last thing we need to do is we need to be able to increment the score. So there's a couple places that we're going to be incrementing the score as well. So we're going to go ahead and create a new procedure again. And this time we're going to go ahead and call this increment score. Once you've created your increment score procedure, just as we did with the decrement score, we're basically going to be doing the same thing that we can find in that decrement score, except this time we're going to need to go ahead and add one instead of subtracting one. So we can go ahead and duplicate these blocks of code. And then the only thing we really need to do is go ahead and change that minus sign to a plus sign. So instead of subtracting, we're going to be adding. So from our math drawer, we'll find that addition block and then we'll go ahead and replace all of the information. So we'll take that global score and add one instead of subtracting one. Now, by doing that, we've created an increment score procedure that we can go ahead and call and place that into that when accelerometer is being shaken. Now that you've completed your accelerometer, let's go ahead and make sure that it works correctly. When you're ready to test your accelerometer, keep in mind that the app companion on the Chromebook will not allow you to test any accelerometer. You're going to need to test this on either the emulator or on an actual phone or tablet. So I'm going to be using a tablet to test out our accelerometer event handler. The three things we want to see occur based off of our procedures is that we should see a word or phrase appear on the screen. We should be able to see our reset timer reset back to 30 seconds, and then the clock should begin running or counting down. We'll also want to make sure that we go ahead and increment the score to one. So if we go ahead and shake that device, what we should see is that the number of correct guesses went to one. The word or phrase is to act out now says shoveling snow and my timer is now counting down. If we go ahead and shake our device again, we'll notice that the time reset back to 30 seconds and we are able to get the number of guesses set to two. We see shoveling snow and that's based off of a random item or index from our list. So here we can see that the accelerometer is working correctly for our charades game app. 
Now that we've completed a majority of the code, our next activity, we're gonna look at cleaning this up a bit and getting it to function properly through all the different procedures that we created.